So this is Charlie. Let's take a moment to make sure we understand how to install uh, Dropbox on Elvenware. So here's the assignment, and then there's a link here. And if we come to that link, we can, we'll can we come to this page here, and you can see the script. Um, it's probably best just to go on up over here to JS Objects and pick either the 32-bit one or the 64-bit one, depending on which you need. We need the 64-bit one in this case. So let's go ahead and make a copy of that script. Then we'll come over here to the secure shell. We'll come over here to our Ubuntu instance and we'll do an LS. Now, as you can see in this particular case, which is probably not your case, I've started a totally fresh instance. So I'm gonna create a bin directory. I'll see the end of that bin directory and then I'll type nano runme.sh and I'll open up nano and then because we're in secure shell I'm going to press shift insert to paste in the contents of the script then I'll do an extra carriage return here to make sure that we end with a line feed and then I'm going to press control o to write it out and then press enter to actually perform that act and then control x to exit and now we can test our work, type cat run me .sh. We see that we've got what we wanted here. So now you don't type sudo to run this script. You just type sh run me sh, okay? And we'll go ahead and it downloads the python dropbox.py file, and then it downloads dropbox.tar, and then it unzips it and places it in a particular location and it leaves you with this URL right here. And you need to copy that URL and then you go up into your browser and paste that URL in. And it comes over here and it, one way or another you get yourself logged into Dropbox and it says your computer was successfully linked. So you come back over here and you can say, and you see now this computer is now linked to Dropbox. Welcome, Charlie. So you're all done in terms of installing Dropbox. You can then press control C. And now you're in this directory and downloaded into your bin directory was a file called dropbox.py. And what you can do is go shamad plus x dropbox.py. And then from then on, it won't matter where you are. You can be anywhere and you can just type dropbox.py. Um, well, actually, let's, play, let's exit one time and then come back in. And then once we're back in, we can be anywhere and type dropbox.py and it'll run this script for us. You need to exit once because it needed to find that bin was really on the path. And now it is on the path. The bin directory and dropbox.py is on there. So you can now type dropbox.py and type status. So you've got a bunch of menu options here. Type status and you can see Dropbox isn't running. So we press up arrow and we choose start. And now Dropbox has started running. And now we can do Dropbox file status. And you can see that, um, well, it doesn't, it's not going to do anything in here because the only one it cared about, it didn't care about any of those files, but it does care about the Dropbox folder and it knows that we're syncing that folder. So we'll see the end of Dropbox. And now we could run that same command again. Dropbox file status and it tells you the status of each of the files you've got there. You could also come over here to Dropbox itself and you can see here's all the folders. I just happen to have a lot of stuff being created. So it's all in there and you could see, you can see it. Um, I'll go over here into the stack edit folder for just a little bit and you can see a few files that are in there. I'll, um, Come over here, I'll go to um, stackedit.io, 
and I'll come in here and I'll create a new file, new document, and I'll call this document AAA begin, and I'll type pound sign begin, beginning a new file, and then I'll choose, and then I'll also come over here and I'll go over to the Wiki Commons and I'll look over here in the Wiki Commons and I'll look for files about forests. And so I'll say forest images and I can come over here and I'll find images about forests. And um, here's a nice image here. Um, so we'll go look at that one for a sec and you can see that it's got this file, which is a nice size, 640 times 480. So we'll copy that link address. Okay. And then we'll come back over here to stack edit and we'll choose, <clears throat> let's introduce an image in here. So we'll click up that image, we'll paste in that URL that we got from Wiki, and now there's our picture in here. And so we've got a little file with a picture in it and all the nice stuff, right? So then we come over here and we go synchronize and we say save on Dropbox. And we're gonna say, I wanna save it into stack, edit as AAA begin.md. I'll go a, a, a begin.md. And then I'll click on the OK button. Now, the first thing I might want to do is come over here to stack edit. And you can see now on the, on the website that AAA begin has been loaded there. And then we'll come over here to Dropbox and we'll go into the stack edit folder and you can see that it's not loaded yet. And that's probably because it just simply hasn't had time to, um, to get downloaded yet. So you'd simply have to wait for it to download because it's busy right now downloading other files. Um, that's all I wanted to show you about Stack Edit. Um, and um, that's, all I'm going to do, I wish that one file would come down for us, but it's a little fast. Oh, no, look, see, it is. It's here. AAA begin up to date. So it is here. And if we ran the file, you can see that it's also gotten loaded. And if we did a cat on AAA begin.md, we can see we actually have the file beginning a new file. Or if we came over here and we clicked on it, we'd actually see the file because, um, Stack edit dropbox.com understands how to render markdown files so it shows up nicely for us here. All right, that's all I wanted to show you. Thank you now. Um, that should help you get through the assignment. Have a good day now. Bye.